Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna draw some simple little box and create a pattern out of it using Adobe Capture. So the main goal of this tutorial is gonna be how to draw these things, the simple ones. That is, we're gonna use some vector brushes and fill tool. So I'm going to concentrate on the drawing aspect of it and not much on the pattern making aspect of it so if you want to learn how to make pattern i have a lot of videos on that actually so i'll link them either in the description box below or in a card over here but i will definitely tell you how i make this pattern in this tutorial but like i said i'm not going to go in depth into the capture tool that i will be using in this tutorial okay so let's just get started so open up your fresco click on create new and you can choose any size that you want. I'm just going to go into digital and click on square. So now I have a color palette for you guys. So go ahead and pick it up from the link in the description box below. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring in the color palette. To bring in the color palette, all I have to do is click on images. And once you have downloaded into your iPad, it should show up in your photos. So click on photos and bring it in. Once you have this, I'm just going to increase the size because then it will be easy for me to pick it. Click on done. So now all you have to do is click and hold. To select that color you know for sure that the color is selected when you see this icon right here and once it's done just make a mark on your ipad so it does not matter which brush you're on the reason we do that is once you do that if you go into your color palette here let me pull that down if you click on recents you'll see the color over here so you'll have all the colors on your ipod so one thing you should know is if you reopen this artwork you'll have all these colors but if you try to open a new artboard that is when you click on create new and create a new artboard these colors will be gone they are not saved as such okay so you should be careful about that one thing so let's go ahead and pick all other colors now once you have picked all the colors you can just hide this layer by pressing on this eye icon here you can do the same thing for this color palette as well and now we have a blank canvas where we'll start drawing so the main theme is we're going to draw each element that's the each buck on a different layer so that will be much easier later on when you're trying to compile them into a pattern okay so there are two methods to drawing a pattern that is one you can draw them on separate layers and import it into capture the video for that is linked below as well and the other option is to make a tile yourself on the fresco app and then export it into Adobe Capture, which I think gives you more control over how your pattern should look. So I have a video on that as well. So I'll link that down as well. Okay, so let's start drawing. So the brush that I'm going to use for this tutorial is the vector brush because vectors are very crispy brushes. That means that you can rescale them very easily without losing any information or losing the quality of your artwork. So let's start with the vector brush and I'm going to go ahead and choose the basic round vector brush. And I'm going to keep it at 18. Let me just quickly check. Okay, that looks fine to me. So 18 it is, 18 or maybe 20. If you cannot adjust this properly, you know, you can click and hold and then you get the thing. And you can just press 20 and then outside and it'll select that. So for the color, I'm going to use black right now because I want to make the black outline first. And then for smoothing, I'm going to keep it at around 70 because I want it to be a much smoother line so you can keep it at much higher that is like at a 98 but you can see that there is a lag between your brush and the pencil so it's a little difficult to make sure that you create proper lines so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep it at 70 because that works kind of all right for me it's okay if it's at 73 or 75 it doesn't matter so much it's just a rough number okay so let's start off with a very simple one so i'm just going to go ahead and draw a oval like this so you see it's not a proper oval you can always use the shapes here like you click and hold and you get all these different shapes and you click on circle or whatever you want and you can do that i'm going to click and click again to remove that but i want it to be a bit hand drawn one thing you should make sure is you close all the loops because we'll be using the fill tool and without the loops closed uh it doesn't work exactly the way you want it to work okay so once you have this I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line like that and then maybe eyes maybe that's too big so let's make it a little tinier and then a little inside like this and then maybe oops needs to join otherwise it won't work like I told you Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and make antlers. These are called antlers, right? I think so. A bug looks fine, I guess. I, you just have to scroll in and make sure that your lines are closed. That's really, really important. 
Okay, so once this is ready, you can actually go ahead and duplicate it because I suddenly feel like I want to include some black and white things as well in that uh, pattern. So I'm just going to click on this and click on duplicate layer. There it is. So we're going to do that. On the other layer that I have, I'll go to my fill tool and I'm going to color palette. And then here I'll choose the da da da, this light blue here and click on fill. So let's go ahead and choose black and make sure these eyes are black. And let's go ahead and choose pink and probably alternate this like this. By the way, if you make any mistake, you can always use your two finger tap to undo like that. And let's choose a yellow and then color it off like this. Okay, our bug is ready. So let's go to the next layer. Now I'm gonna hide this too because I don't want it to be, you know, affecting my view as such. So let's go ahead and go back to our brush tool or the vector brush tool and then the next one is going to be about oops what's wrong okay go into this brand new layer and it's going to be something like this Nah, that's a bit too much like that and it should be a bit round here as well you know how a cockroach looks like so this is going to be something like a cockroach so go ahead and draw its wings make sure it's joined and then come on and draw something like this. Maybe this, that's okay. And a big like that. And let's give it some things like this. And what do we need? Okay, let's make something like this here as well. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. I'm gonna hide this off because we don't need it. Take the fill tool. Um, let's color black and over here as well let's take yellow by the way you can use different color schemes if you want I'm just trying to use as little colors or as less colors as possible okay so you can choose whatever you wanted to okay and that's done and next bug is going to be a bit more colorful I guess so go to your black and then it's going to be a umbrella shape here like that that's not nice so let me go ahead and do that and then go ahead and join in the center like this and like that okay that looks good and you can make it however you want here so maybe i'll make it a bit round and then let's do this And then make compartments and obviously here okay and then we're gonna put a bit let me make a small head so make sure you close this loop here like that there's a bit extra here gonna duplicate it uncheck and this one let's go to the fill tool and do we need black yeah let's do black let's do this alternate black okay and maybe this part as well and let's go into yellow maybe this is yellow and this as well let's take this blue oh that's because it's not <laughs> completely blocked so i'm going to go ahead and change that and you have to go here as well change it Oops, let's go here okay like that and maybe no nah, that's okay and let's take this green maybe like this why not right you like really funky colors okay so our next bug is also ready and let's do maybe a couple more, I guess, and then it should be fine. So this one is going to be very simple, actually. I'm just going to go into my black and then make a round like that. And this has very straight antlers. Maybe a thing like this. Okay. And like that. It's up to you. You can draw however you want. Okay, and then let's give it some feet. Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
I just want to fill this as black before I duplicate it. Let's fill in some color. Okay, that's good. And now one more that is, let's go into black. Like this. Let's choose fill, but before let me duplicate it. I'm also duplicating it because since you're using the fill tool, you'll actually lose the line work. That is, you can't go back to the, uh, just the line work, right? So it's better to duplicate it so that you can go back to it and use it. Always create artwork in a way that you can always go back to any step that you want to recreate things. And then fill tool, okay. Let's go to yellow. And now it's time to arrange all of these things in a way that uh, they look really nice, right? So, but before that, I want to do a bit of arrangement here. So I'm just going to uncheck all of these. That is, make them show up. Click on this I button to do that. Okay, everything is seen now. So now I'm going to group everything into a single group and I'm going to duplicate it. I'll tell you why. <laughs> make sure you click on one of the artwork, click and click on select multiple. And once you do that, click on all the artwork that you want to put in a folder together. Oh, this is unchecked, but that's okay. Okay, once you have that, click on this folder and they get grouped. And if you click double click, you'll go into that. Uncheck it. Okay. Okay. And now you click and duplicate layer group. The reason you do that is you don't want to lose all the original artwork because we're going to resize it now. And you definitely do want to lose that, right? So now we'll go into this group that is double click and now we're going to arrange everything to however you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and group all the black and whites together because I made it as a backup. I thought I will include it in this pattern, but I decided against it for some reason. So let's go ahead and click on select multiple and select all the black and white ones or the, the ones with just the outline and click on the folder. So they're now in a folder. So let's go ahead and arrange these other things. I'm going to click on one of these box, click on your transform tool. And now you can move around these things. So I'm just going to reduce this size and make sure you always use these corner handles because if you use this, it's going to distort it, which will not look good. And you can always use this handle to turn it around like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring them all to the side now for now so that it's easier to arrange them. This one can be over here, I guess. Okay, let's click on done. I'm going to go ahead and hide this one because we don't want the outlines. Okay, once you have this, now it's time to arrange it. Let's go here and again, transform tool. I'm going to rotate this a little bit, maybe put it here. Okay, and then this one will go over here. Maybe rotate it a little bit over here, okay. This will definitely go here like that. Let's keep some space. This one, I want it down here and maybe rotate it like this. It's you can do all these things with this go here and maybe bring it here, but I want it smaller. So I'm going to put it down here and this one is kind of in the way. So I'm going to put it down there and this one as well. Let's click on done. So once you have this, you need to fill this filler spaces. That is, there are these blanks right here. Oops, blanks right here. And you want to fill it up with things. So I'm just going to go back into my vector brush and I'll choose black and I'll create a new layer because I don't want to disturb the other things. And I'll try to make some elements. So it could be anything, uh, you know, stars, circles, whatever fancies you, you can do that. I'm going to do that, I guess. Let me color this with yellow. And I will choose this color. You can click and hold to choose that color. And I'll choose a vector brush and I'm going to just color it here like that.
this region looks very blank so i'm going to go ahead and make one star or whatever the shiny thing here choose yellow bucket tool and fill okay so i think our artwork is ready you should know one thing you should export it without a background to make it look nicer so i'm just going to go back here and go back to this last layer which has the background and click on this eye to hide it now it's just the artwork so let's click on the share tool here and click on publish and export and here you see something called as capture pattern let's click on that so once you do that it opens in adobe capture just click here so that to select that one and click on done okay so once you have this Here's where you want to do some changes. Click on this icon here and let's click on freeform grid, just like that. And let's click on hexagon so that we get a different kind of a shape. You can do this as well. It's up to you. Let's click on hexagon. And then I'm going to go into layers and select one of the layers. And I can actually increase this size like this to make sure it, this happens. And you can always rotate it like that. And make sure nothing overlaps. You see all this dimmed out thing is so make sure nothing overlaps. And once you're ready with your artwork or your pattern, click on save. Then it brings up here and you have this creative cloud library. So you need to be signed into your Adobe account to get this. It's free. Go ahead and create one because it's really useful. You can sync your artwork across devices and it's pretty useful. So go ahead and do that. Once you have that, you'll get this option to save it to a library you can always click on this button here and if you don't see any library you can click on this plus and create one for yourself i'll just save it to print me some color now and click on save and once you have that you'll see the pattern just click on it and then you can see the pattern so if you want you can actually go ahead and share it that is export as save to camera roll or share in share you see options that is to share pattern link or share it to other things you can export it as a pattern tile. That is, if you're planning to upload it to Redbubble and things like that, export it as a pattern tile and then it'll actually repeat along the product. Otherwise, you can also export it as SVG if that is what you want. Other thing is to save to camera roll, which I'm going to do now, because then you can actually go ahead and check it in your camera roll. You can go back here, It'll take you to this page. And if you click on this, you can see other options as well over here. Okay, you don't have to particularly go inside the pattern to do that. So let's go ahead and check our pattern. So there it is. This is your pattern that you created right now, which is very similar to what I made, I guess. But this was tinier uh, and thicker lines, as you can see here. So go ahead and create whatever you want to create with this particularly awesome tool. OK, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I post a new fresco video mostly on Tuesdays. So do come back next Tuesday to check what's happening here. You can also support me by buying me a coffee on coffee.com. You can find the link to do that in the description as well. If you cannot, it's totally okay. I'm happy that you're here. Just leave a like and share it with your friends and family or anybody who likes to learn Frisco and um, yeah, that'll really help me out. If you do create something using one of my tutorials, don't forget to share it on Instagram by tagging me. That is at print me some color or at thing beyond color because I love looking at what you guys create. Okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.